Today I'm going to be talking to you about a program called Virtual Dimension. This is a free program. You can find a link to the download page on the right in the video description. What this program does is it allows you to have different desktops so that you can have different programs opened at the same time but yet they're not bunched together. So I've got Notepad open here on my main desktop. Then I could switch to my secondary desktop and notepad won't be open and I could go back and notepad will be there and I could drag notepad to the second desktop and then it will be on the second desktop here so it's just for organization if you wish and you could also assign hotkeys so that you could easily switch without clicking like this so what this can help you with is if you don't want someone to see what you're doing you could just quickly use a hotkey and switch to another desktop with something you don't mind them seeing. Ok let me go through the settings with you. Ok the main ones are these. You could set it to so set it so that this window over here is always on top and nothing overlaps it. But I don't like that feature. And you could enable the tray icon so that you can see this and you could enable the tips of the tools like this and then you could alter all these settings but they're not that important then you've got the display which is what you see here so I've got just a normal grey background but you could change it to a picture like that and you could also change the transparency around but that's not really that important and here this is probably the screen that most of you will actually be interested in. This way you could add new desktops. So I've got four, my main one, secondary one, third and the fourth. Then you could insert a desk desktop and you can see it gets inserted here so you could go to that one. And you could insert quite a lot. But I'm happy with the four I've got. And you can change the number of columns so that say if I've got seven, if I insert a desktop, instead of starting a new row, it'll carry on filling that column. It'll carry on adding columns until it reaches 7. Okay, let's remove these. And then you could configure the, des the desktop by naming it. And this is the wallpaper. You could change the wallpaper but if you want it to have the same wallpaper as your main one just leave it like this. You may have to restart it if you restart your computer if you've changed the wallpaper on your main window on your main desktop so it applies a change to the other desktops if you get what I mean and you can set a hotkey so that you could easily go from one desktop to another to get to the fourth one I've made it that so you have to press alt and 4 so when I press that it will jump to the fourth desktop and colour I have no idea what this does and maybe it's to change the text colour but I don't think it's anything important Okay. Then you've got this just to just put an extra name on top of this. It's nothing important really. Sorry about that. I have no idea why I just did that. Ignore that. And the shortcuts. This is where you activate the. What this is where you set the shortcuts hotkeys to do different things. So if I want to show this window, all I have to do is press Alt and Five. And there's this adv advanced tab which allows you to enable shell integration, which I'll show you what it does. What that means is if you say right click on a window, you get this extra tab. So you could change the transparency, move it around, and do loads of nice little things. But that's not necessary if you don't want it. So that's about it. The program's free, as I mentioned earlier, and I highly recommend it it's not being updated anymore because whoever made it has abandoned it but it still works well I haven't come across any glitches or bugs or problems so you should be safe to use it and it should help you organize things a bit more thank you for watching um, I'm aiming to get a thousand subscribers and I can only do this with your help. I realise that a thousand is a lot and I probably won't get there anytime soon but I've got f around 400 now, just over 400 and I'm very thankful to all those that subscribed so thank you to those that have 
helped me along and thank you for all the comments that have been left on my videos most of them are very nice so if you can help me please subscribe I appre I'll appreciate it and I'm hoping to make more videos more often so that you don't have to wait ages for the next tutorial so thanks for watching and stay tuned